Hello everyone and welcome to Learning with Jelly. Today is going to be our first video that's going to kick off our SQL series on how to code in SQL. Before we get started, I want to take you through how to download SQLite and SQLite Studio, which is just a graphical user interface that helps us navigate SQL a little bit better, and how to get a sample database into SQLite, SQLite that we will utilize for our future lessons. So the first thing that you wanna do is go to Google and you wanna type in SQLite download, and it's going to be the first download that pops up at sqlite.org. I'm going to put the link to this download page in the description below. And when you scroll down, there's a different download for Mac operating systems, as well as three different um, zip files that you would need to download for Windows. And yes, if you have Windows, you may have to download, if it's a 64-bit, this is the one that you would utilize, 32-bit, would be the first one. Um, safe bet, it is probably a 64-bit that you're working on. So that would be the download that you would need. I have a Mac, so I am going to just download this one zip file and it should be saved as SQLite tools into my download folder. So when I click on that zip file, I see that the download pops at the bottom of my screen. When I open that, it is in my downloads folder. So for a Mac, the zip file will show underneath and then it automatically extracted the files that was in that zip file, AKA unzipped it into a folder called SQLite tools. If you have a Windows, you may have to right click on the zip file and choose extract all. So I'm going to move this SQLite tools folder out of my downloads into my document folder. I mean, my document directory, because that is where I want to save my SQL work. So as you can see, I already have one created, but the new one that I've dropped in is right here into my documents directory. So now since I have that downloaded and it has all the three files that comes with that, I want to actually download a database that I can work with. So I'm going to go back to Google and I'm going to go to this site called database.guide. I'm also going to put the direct link to these databases in the description below, but we are going to go through how to download a database, the Chinook database that we are going to utilize for our SQL tutorials in the future. So the first thing that you want to do is save the SQL script to your computer. So with a Mac, you would just hit control and then right click and hit save as. And then you can go back and choose that folder that we downloaded, which it is automatically on that folder for me. You may have to go to documents and click on the folder and you wanna hit save, okay? And that is going to save that SQL script directly to your, um, folder where you had your other three files that we just downloaded. Now, the next thing that we want to do is run a command in order to turn that SQL script into a database that we can connect to in SQLite. So the first thing that we want to do is go to your applications. If you're on a Mac, the launch pad, and you want to go and find your terminal. So I'm going to look for my terminal application. I actually have it down here and I'm going to open up a new window. And there I am in my terminal. Now, the first thing that I'm going to want to do is go back to my finder where I saved everything at. And I want to make sure that I change to the directory of where this folder is. So I'm just gonna rename this folder because this is actually a pretty long name just so that it's easier to work with. And I'm gonna name SQLite-tools-2 since that is my second folder. 
And now within my command line, if you're on a Windows, you can get your command line from the start menu, just type CMD. It should bring up a blank command interface. It may be black. And then what I'm going to do is change my directory to where to this folder that I saved at. So right now I'm in my documents folder. If I go one level, I can LS and list everything in my documents folder. Now I'm gonna change my directory to the actual folder that has that SQL script that we just downloaded, which in this case is the SQLite Tools 2. So I'm just gonna put SQLite Tools 2, tab completed. And when I list this, I see that there is those three files that I downloaded as well as the SQL script. So I am going to go into SQLite tools. I'm gonna actually change the name of this to, the, to just be Chinook, just so that it's easier for me to type, easier to work with. And when I go back to my web page, I notice that I can just type this following command. So you can copy and paste this command if your SQL script is just named Chinook. So I'm just gonna do command C to copy that line. And then back in my command prompt, I'm going to paste that. And now you notice that the SQL light arrow is popping up, okay? So I put SQLite 3 Chinook.db. And so now I can also type the other line that I need. Command C. Go back to my terminal. We did not call it SQLite for the Chinook. So we just need to call it Chinook.sql. Looks like it's creating it, even though it tried to call an error. And it looked like that it actually created my database. So now I see that there is a Chinook.db, okay? So I'm just going to ignore that syntax error that's not affecting me in creating the database. And I am now going to go to my SQLite Studio. Now, if you have not downloaded SQLite Studio, the next step for you is going to be Google SQLite Studio download. And it's gonna be the first one and you're going to want to download this, okay? So there is a version for Mac and there's also a version for Windows as well. So I'm going to put a link to the download page so you can have all of what you need to download for Windows as well as Microsoft, okay? I mean, as well as Mac. So after you download the SQLite Studio, you should be able to open up that application. So I'm just going to open up my SQLite Studio. Let's exit out of the commands. You can do Control C. Um, to kill it and let's just exit out or you can just hit X and terminate. Okay, so now I want to connect to a database. So I'm gonna hit this plus sign at the top of SQLite Studio. Let me make this screen a little bit bigger for you all. And once I hit this plus sign, there's a database. So I am just going to search for that database that I just created. That was in our SQLite Tools 2. And then I'm just gonna call this Chinook and I'm gonna say, okay. And then now in this view, I'm gonna say view the databases. And my database down here is going to show. So now I'm on this database. 
and I can see all of the different tables that are within my database. It's going to have our artist, album, customer, employee. So I actually have two databases, right? There was one that I've already had imported and then this regular Chinook one that I just walked you through. So then just to test to make sure that it is imported and I can, and I can actually read something from a table, I'm just going to do select. Star means all, and I'm going to say from artists, which is the artist table limit five, right? And then I'm just going to run this. And then when I run it, I actually see five artists from the artist table. It looks like everything populated correctly. So that is how you download SQLite, you download SQLite Studio, as well as import a database that has already been created for us that we can utilize in our queries in future lessons. So I'm going to link everything down in this description that you need to download this database so that we can have it for our future lessons. Please comment below if you have any questions. And once again, thank you for tuning in with Learning with Jelly. Bye-bye.